they are giving this character for free. Before we get into that, allow me to introduce to you this game. Now, whoa, whoa, whoa. I know you think to yourself, oh, I haven't heard the best of things about this game. But here's the deal. I personally reached level 34 and I've played it casually for a, over a month now. And I can tell you right now, if you play it casually and just have fun with it, it's a very enjoyable game with a lot of content. Now, a really quick introduction to Raid. This is a game with over 800 champions, each with their own unique skills and abilities that you can use and pair together with. So instantly, we can see a lot of strategic gameplay that you can mess around with. Click the link in my description and scan the QR code to get insane bonuses, right? This will be the best time to start. You immediately get a huge starter pack with an epic champion, Ultimate Galek, and another starter pack featuring the free epic Zargala after you reach level 15. And one of the bulk focus that I have for today's video, we have the free Monkey King promo code, where if you enter it, you'll obtain the free Sun Wukong as a reward. Now, this character is actually pretty dang strong. So now the with the link in my description, you can find me under this um, tag right here. And I even have my own clan right here. So do join my clan. We can have some fun together. I hope to see you there. And now obligations aside, right? I'm hoping to change your paradigm a bit about this game. Yeah. What I have here is a level 34 account. I've been playing it for over a month and take a look at my account. I'm playing it very casually and enjoying it so far. And my best character is probably Chronicle Adeline, which I obtained for free from a previous event, including all of her artifacts as well. These are all for free. You just have to play the game and you get a character that looks sick, right? So in terms of just freshness and the amount of things that they give you, you will have a pretty good time. But that's mostly about the past. Let's talk about the now. If you play now and you use the promo code Monkey King, you'll be able to obtain Sun Wukong. Now, this character is pretty busted, at least when I faced him in Arena early on. The next thing I would like to showcase, right? The designs. Look at this. That is very sick. They even have the bendable stick right here. So if you don't know, Sun Wukong is based on the Chinese um, folklore and mythology, and they have depicted him really well, right? The stick is bendable even in the folklores as well. I actually follow it. I think this is a really good depiction. And enough about just the looks, right? A free character like this. Surely he can't be good. But that's where you're wrong. Look at the basic. We have Gotcha, level one that has a chance to stun. And it can steal the target's buff as well. This is pretty damn good for PvP especially, right? Got people who literally just run him as a solo character with counter set. So they can keep stunning and stealing their buffs. It's pretty crazy. And then we have Staff of Wonder, which is a lot of damage, ignoring 50% of the target defense. You can even attack all remaining enemies if the target is killed as well. And if you don't kill them, you turn your enemy into a sheep by landing the sheep debuff. That's insane. But this is what the sheep debuff does. The enemy champion will lose basically all their skills and they can only use a sheep skill, which really isn't that good. And then we have this ultimate, which attacks all enemies and before attacking, you'll steal all the buffs and place buff block. This is busted. It's basically a form of controlling the entire field. They don't have any buffs on them. They have unbuffable as well. They can't even save themselves. And they have to tank insane damage from Sun Wukong. And that's not even the kicker. This is the passive. Unbeatable Wukong revised the champion with 100% HP and 100% turn meter three turns after they were killed. This makes him the carry that you need to have a really enjoyable early game. Now, I'm actually in distraught because I missed this guy, but if you're a new player and you download the game with my link and enter the promo code Monkey King, you will be able to attain Sun Wukong in the first 72 hours of your account's creation. Such a strong character, I urge you to not miss it, yeah? So that was one of the characters that I find actually very interesting, and I fought a bunch of them in arenas as well, which I might as well shoot, right? Like, right here. We got a little 50 Wukong. It's actually a pretty close fight. Now, I will fight as I explain to you why the game is, like, better than you would expect, right? The game starts, you're gonna see a lot of things happening. Acid rain from the enemy. And now it's finally my turn. One of my characters already dead. So the enemy has just a lot of firepower, right? I'll start with my kill, and you'll see that every one of them has multiple skills. Each of them do different things, and each of them do different damage. And now we have my epic champion, Adelaide. One of the most interesting things that I have is that just pairing different skills here with Rite of Sleep. I am really afraid of the enemy Wukong, so you know what? Let's just put Rite of Sleep onto you, and that does quite a bit of damage. And yeah, there we go. I got turned into sheep. I could swear Rite of Sleep was supposed to put some debuffs on you. Not sure where that one, but you know what? Since I'm a sheep now, the enemy Wukong turned me into one. I wonder how much damage I'm doing with this attack. Yeah, not a lot, so not good. So with this, you see the depth of the gameplay. There's a lot of skills on, on everyone. Here's my um, DPS as well. Do a bunch of damage there. And I think I just didn't use Rite of Sleep earlier, huh? Well, I'm hoping to use it now, which I still don't think I used it. Hello? That's weird. But all good. Right now, we just have to basic it up, and I'm pretty sure everyone dies. You know what? Now, I rid of some. This has to be it. Yeah, there we go. 
That's my debuff. And now it's totally controlled. It can take a turn. And we'll end it with my other epic champion. The sheer should one shot you. Ashley did not. Ugh. Okay, we're, we're getting way too close for combat. I'm oh, so frozen now and I'm dead. But thankfully, got Adam to finish it up. And that, ladies and gentlemen, is how the PvP looks like, at least in early game. Now, I'm a, I'm a casual player, right? Here's what I truly believe in. You will hate every game if you start being overly competitive. That's just how I see things. So over the course of a month and a half of me playing this game, I logged in as often as possible, claim all the rewards, fought, do a little bit of farming, do a little bit of arenas as well. And I'm able to come up with a team that I just built there. It has a pretty good balance. We got a tanker, we got a DPS, we got a debuffer as well. And from that, we're able to achieve victory, get some resources, all of that, and slowly progress our account, which is why I say you're just a fan of RPG, turn-based RPG, all of that. This is honestly a very fun game with a lot of content. Speaking of content, if you click on Battle Who, you'll see all the contents they are. I was just in Arena, there are clan bosses, faction wars, dungeons, campaigns. All of these are different game modes that you can play in. I say in dungeon, you get a lot of um, equipment or say resources for to upgrade your champions. In the campaign, you get to enjoy the story. Yeah, there's even more that I haven't even unlocked. We got Doom Tower, Curse City, we got Siege as well. Tons and tons of content for the playthrough. As long as you don't rush towards the end game, then I urge you to try this game out. And to close everything off, so, so a game that has a summon system. We'll take a look at how it feels like and I'll give you my overall feel, right? So you see a lot of shards here. First, we have the mystery shard, which is the mo most common one. You get these a lot, but these are not useless though. You want to get these, like I'll just do a temple here. And whatever you get from these, you want to feed into someone else in order to like say, promote them or fuse with certain other characters to get better characters as well. And yeah, we get all of these characters from a temple and all of them have their own design, yeah? Look at this. Now clearly, the more rare you are, the more effects you would have, I would say. So those are the common pulls and some even has good mechanics to them. And so we want to keep an eye out on each and every one of the characters in this game. Now let's move on though. We got a couple of different ones here. Now the main thing is if you look here, we got a rare epic legendary. You have a shot at getting the best characters in the game from these, yeah? If you click on this eye right here, you will see the percentages. Now clearly ancient shards are not that hard to come by. It's only 0.5, but eventually we're going to get sacred shards, which gives you 12% legendary. That's a lot. But I'll just show you what it feels like to pull in this game, yeah? Hopefully I get something good, but here's an ancient shard. Who do we get? And here's the animation as well. Your character just walks in from a portal, yeah? We're a Tormentor. This is where the character starts to look really, really sick. Look at that. We'll keep going, yeah? Four more to go. Who do we get next? And we got another blue. We got Ethel. Three more to go. I'm hoping to see something that's not blue. Perhaps, you know, give me a gold. Not a gold, but we got Berserker and two more to go. Let's see. If we don't get anything here, which the chances are not that high, right? Which, you know, this is not the rare summon currency, so I get it, but... I'm hoping I get some something better. Like, it's always fun to get them, right? And we don't get something better. Got a Banshee, but you know what? That's Ancient Shard. Let's actually go towards the high potential ones. We got a Void Shard, which might get you Void Champion. Let's see if we get one. <laughs> I'm notorious to be known to be the most unlucky person alive. So there we go. Yep. <laughs> we got no one, but we have one more though. Let's go ahead and pull that. Yeah. And who do we get? Another Purr. It is all to cook up the hype for the primal shard right here. Oh boy. We got one primal shard and we could even get a mythical champion. Do we get anything for this video though? Let's find out. If I don't get one, maybe you would, right? Surely both of us would get unlucky and yep. <laughs> We got another blue man. Oh, come on. All right, very much unlucky. But of course, I've been lucky before. I got Rosine Scarhide from an ancient shard. It was the most epic moment of my life. But truth be told, just by playing the game, you get some free characters anyway. We got Chronicle Adler for completely free. You are able to get Wukong for completely free as well just by entering the promo code Monkey King within 72 hours of creating your account. So what you waiting for? Download the game with my link. That'll actually help you out a lot. So hope you do it, okay? And to close this off again, make sure to download the game with my link in the description or scan the QR code on the screen that you see right now. The moment you do so, you immediately get a starter pack with a free champion, Ultimate Galak. And upon reaching level 15, you get another free champion, Epic Zargala, right? And the final thing I have to point out again, Sun Wukong is a really good character, so you don't want to miss it. Use the promo code Monkey King. You can claim him for free within the 72 hour of you creating your account. And again, finally, I got my clan right here, so feel free to join us and we'll spend our time in the game together. I hope to see you there, and truthfully, it will help you out a ton. And you never know, you might find it enjoyable yourself, so I urge you to download the game. And that will be all. Take care.